Hello, beautiful Pisces. This is your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Pisces. Past, present, and future energies in love. What's going to happen? What's coming in? What's going out? Pisces, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining me here. Hope everyone's doing well. And I'm so grateful to have you here. Wheel of Fortune, Pisces, so you have some Sagittarius energy. Destiny, the Wheel of Fortune has turned in your favor in the recent past. Good fortune coming in. Beautiful. Love it. Sagittarius energy. Okay, so we have Knight of Swords energy, all about telling the truth, seeing the truth, speaking the truth. The Nine of Swords is Gemini energy. This is Gemini energy, so you might be dealing with a Gemini, but it also says that you are all up in your head about something. The current energy is the Two of Wands. You feel as though you're at a crossroads, that you have to make a decision about your love life. Let's see what else we have for you. So what is the current energy for our Pisces friends? High Priestess card. Some think of this as a Pisces energy using your intuition, but it's Cancerian also. So it really speaks to the fact that you are very much in your feels right now, that you're trying to figure out, you know, a decision to make in a relationship. Okay. So let's see what we have here. We have three of wands. Your ships have come in. I love the energy, Aries energy. Really all about the fact that you've achieved a certain level of love and have happiness and comfort that you feel as though you might have your person here, that you're where you want to be right now. But again, there is a decision that has to be made. You know, and decisions about relationships can say like, well, I'm dating somebody and I got a job offer in California, but I live in Chicago and should I move or what should I do? So that's what I'm seeing here is there's sort of this kind of life decision to make and wondering where the relationship will go. So in the future, we have the Four of Cups. You're not feeling totally satisfied. Okay, so you're just not really feeling totally satisfied. Um... You feel, even though there's a sunny day or a, a cloudy day around this person, the only rain is in the emotional affairs of this person. And this, you know, so it's it's almost like you're borrowing trouble here. It's You're feeling sad when you don't need to. But, you know, your feels are your feels, right? Let's see, what else do we have here? For the future, oh, a new beginning in love, new love, Ace of Cups and being very invested in a relationship. So Sagittarius, let's see, we're gonna clarify these cards. Now, the next thing we do before we clarify is we're gonna look at the message from Moonology, which is all about why we're in this reading, what you need to know about what's going on in your love life right now. So let's see what we have for the overall energy of what Spirit's trying to give you in terms of a message. Okay, here we go mediate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. We can't make this up. Okay, so what are the new beginnings that you're going to initiate at this time in your love life? But it really is saying meditate, you know, take your time, use your intuition, but you know, it's about contemplation. Think things through very thoroughly. Surrender to the divine full moon energy. Okay, so let's see what the clarifiers are. Let's see here. Pisces, what is the Wheel of Good Fortune? Why is it here for you? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for our Pisces friends? Okay, well, we have two cards that came out. The star card, oh my gosh. So the Wheel of Fortune is recognizing, this is divine love also. The star card is a card of hopes and dreams for love coming true, but eight of cups. So it does look like for many of you that you have you are having good luck because you walked away from something and you're walking into the star energy. So you're leaving a situation that was not gratifying emotionally, and you're walking into your happiness. What a gorgeous uh, energy that is. Look at Six of Wands of Victory, Leo energy. Very vibrant, very expansive, being noticed. You are a rock star right now in your own right. So what I'm seeing here is that you are have, you're having career advancement. This is a promotion. It can be an engagement, but it can also be the Six of Wands is a victory. 
It's the parade for the soldiers after battling. The Eight of Cups is you having left something to have a better better happiness. And the Star card, you are on a beautiful spiritual journey that um, Spirit has really created for you with this, this turn of the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Swords is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Nine of Cups, you want to have fun. You want to eat, drink, be merry. The Two of Swords, you just you don't want to deal with harshness right now. You want a lot of clarity in your life. You know, you don't want any fussing. And we have the Seven of Cups. You're keeping your options open right now. You have a lot of different choices. You're trying to figure out which choice to make, though. You definitely are in your head wanting to really know what the truth is. The King of Swords energy, that's Aquarius energy. So you do figure it out. You go from the Knight of Swords to the King of Swords, who's very, very calm, cool, collected, rational, thinking of the future, whatever decision you make make will be very grounded with the Capricorn energy we have beautiful okay so you're all up in your head about the death of a relationship the four of swords you're trying to heal from something from the past you know surrender to the divine the six of cups speaks to the fact that it was a relationship in which there was a lot of sweetness a lot of love a lot of kindness the Nine of Wands, you still love this person, you still want them in your life. The Sun card, but you are finding your happiness right now, so gorgeous, we like that. Through all of this pain, there is enlightenment, there's happiness. You have the two, the Star card and the Sun card are the two stars in the deck, and your star is rising. And when we look at, when we look at this, this can also be interpreted another way that as your star rises that there is going to be the decision that you have to make two of wands is based on either transforming the relationship that you're in uh and and you know it's like when you uproot and move across the country it's like putting in a new kitchen you rip out the old you put in the new but you're not doing this easily you're not totally comfortable with this whole process it, it looks really good to me. I'm really getting that this is a beautiful, it's a death of an old way of living, but it also speaks to the fact that you're moving into a greater level of happiness and you're being very strategic. You know, you're taking your chances. You're trying to ignore that which doesn't really uh, affect you, but you are going for that beautiful nine of cups energy and you want it and you deserve it. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the Two of Wands energy. What's the decision? Page of Pentacles. You've been given an offer of some sort, so you want to know. And it looks like it's career-related. But it can be love-related. It could be somebody offering you the chance to move across country and leave the home that you're in and go somewhere else. So why do we have the Page of Pentacles? King of Cups. Okay, so you're dealing with a Scorpio. So that Scorpio has made an offer. It isn't a huge offer yet. You don't know whether you should take it or not. Tell us something more about all of these dramatic changes with Death Card Scorpio King, right? So the Scorpio King is all oh, beautiful. This is divine connection with a Scorpio, with that death card. It's about reinventing and reinvigorating and, and getting the chance to have a big change. And you're trying to find the answers. So it looks like you have a really big life offer on the table. Queen of Pentacles, that's the Capricorn Queen. Ace of Pentacles, a new offer in, in not only love. Ace of Pentacles is an offer in love. It can be an engagement ring. And now we have the Emperor energy. So you are faced with this situation where you don't feel comfortable making a decision that is life-altering, that's huge. But we also remember with this, we had the Sun card under here, and that is the happiest card in the deck. The Star card is the most advanced spiritual uh, love that you can possibly have. It really, it, it's hopes for dreams of love coming true, beautiful inside, beautiful outside, really rock star status. Now we have Emperor and Empress. So with the Three of Wands, what is your ship that has arrived in the harbor? What is that? Ooh, 
cards everywhere. Cards want to speak. Okay. So Nine of Wands energy says that you have fire in your belly for the future. You definitely want to make something work. We're definitely seeing that you see this as uh, the person you want to be with. We get the Page of Swords. You're doing your homework, and that could be anything on the Internet, you know, any kind of questions you're trying to answer. Temperance, you're staying calm, cool, and collected. But the Five of Coins says that you're very worried about financially taking this move and, and doing this thing, the Ace of Cups for love. So you're taking a love offer. You've been alone for a while. For many of you, you're trying to look at things from a different perspective. But there's your third cup of love. The Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups is an engagement. So we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Three of Cups, but it's an offer that somehow falls short. But when we look at this, we're getting the energy of the Sun, and so that Ace of Cups and the um, Three of Cups, wait a minute, I just want to make sure. It's early in the morning in Chicago. The Three of Cups with the Ace of Coins, which is buried over here, is an engagement. And that is your ship that has arrived in harbor. That's what you can count on, okay? With the Page of Cups, you know, you have that energy. I do think children could be involved with the Page energy here. So let's see why we have the Four of Cups for you, Pisces. Why are you feeling dissatisfied or uncomfortable? You've had a lot of aces here, the Hierophant. So you're, you're not sure you're comfortable with getting married. You're not sure that you're comfortable or you're really fearful that you won't be happy if you make this dramatic change. And there are no guarantees. And I see you being very worried and uncomfortable. Yeah, devil energy. You're feeling like, what if it's a toxic situation? What if there's a lot of things that I'm not seeing? It's keeping you awake at night, all this worry. But the magician card says that you can vanquish that devil. You have all the tools. The devil energy that's coming in here may be you know, your own work that you have to do. You want the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, the knight of swords, the knight of swords. So let's tell me something about this truth that Pisces needs to know. The Five of Cups. Okay. So I'm just not seeing you comfortable making this decision. I'm really feeling like you, you almost feel like you have to apologize to somebody because you're not there yet. You just look like you're still undecided. That there's more time that you need. There's more time that you want. You love this person. The Ace of Cups tell us something. Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment. Your wish is fulfilled here. Your wish is fulfilled there. But you do have some old baggage that is haunting you uh, from past situations. And you're just really fearful of this dramatic change. The Seven of Wands energy also is clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, spiritual number, seven and seven. So you do want to defend your investment in the relationship. Let's see what else is going to happen here. What is actually going to happen here in the future for our Pisces friends? The Tower card. Why is a Tower card here? This is pretty dramatic, Pisces. The Seven of Swords. The King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have... We have the Queen and King of Pentacles. We have the Emperor and Empress. But the Tower card, Four of Cups. The Tower card says that you may not take the offer, that you're, you're, it's a disruptive. You don't feel like there's enough of a foundation yet. Okay, so I don't like to leave readings crazy, okay? I don't like to leave everybody unsettled after a reading. So we're going to look at the Shaman's Dream Oracle for advice. And then I'm going to use the shadow deck, the El Goliath Tarot, to find out why this is going on. Like, it, what's the reality for you? What is the reality? How risky is it if you were to take this offer? But what I'm seeing that you need is you need to do some inner work on something that hasn't been healed is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's see. Dust Devil. Moving out of stagnation is terrifying. You've been stagnant and it, it, the move is really scaring you. Lay of the land ancestral wisdom. 
I have angels and ancestors here. Let's go ahead since we see ancestral wisdom. What is the wisdom about this situation? Should you break up and bring the tower moment to the relationship? Which looks right now like you're really so fearful you might do that. What is the advice from your ancestors? What is the advice from your ancestors? Okay, joy and delight. Aw, to be happy. Mystic healer, healing energy flows through you. So spirit is saying you need to do some healing work, choosing your path, all is possible. So spirit is really saying that this is okay. That you know, yes, you're fogged in. Go slow, it takes time. Um, you know, answering the call, the time is now. Um, but it's time now to do healing work because you're not open to joy. You need to choose your path. What are you going to decide? So what I'm seeing here is a decision that's much more based on your own inner healing work and what needs to be done there so that you can accept happiness, so that you can be brave enough or bold enough to do this in a way in which you feel secure. So let's see what the advice of the El Goliath deck is. Is it safe? Let's see, first of all, how safe, not is it safe, how safe are you if you were to take the leap of faith here and go through with this big move, big change, radical change in your life, what would happen? Let's see what the outcome is, what would happen for you, what would be the reality? This is spirit and the advice of spirit, okay? Nine of cups, joy, we had nine of cups under there. Great happiness, eat, drink, be merry, live joyfully day to day, being in a community you love. King of Pentacles is coming about again, manifesting. You have the magician energy. You have all the tools you need to have this beautiful relationship. The answer is no to whatever question you're asking. Okay, so you ask that question. The answer is no. If you've, Whatever you've been asking, you'll know what that is. And yes, reversed. <laughs> Doesn't that go figure? Yes, but it's an upside down yes. Okay. So I think this is like, am I crazy if I take this offer? I think the answer is no. And if I take this offer, will I just be comfortable with it? I think it's not quite... I think that's what that yes means. Reversed is yes, you'll be happy, but you're not going to know it till you do it. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. That's a mirror. Oh, again, an engagement ring. Look at what card stuck into the, that fell off the table. King of Wands energy. That's all about taking action. Okay, so back to this. Will this turn out well for you? Will you be able to do it safely is the answer. Sage, okay. So, you know, follow the advice of spirit. You, you, you do need to work on yourself and you need to give up your fears. You need to give up your trials and your tribulations. The page of wands, throw caution to the winds is the advice here. And let's pull two more for what you should do. The death card, take the transformation. Allow yourself to change and grow, go through this transformative experience for the King of Cups, and he was here. That's who's making the offer, the Death card, King of Cups. Be fearless in love. It is a dramatic change that is a phoenix rising from the ashes, Pisces. So this is really a very spiritual reading saying that the universe is handing you everything you've wanted. Now you have to work through the obstacles, the inner obstacles to clear the way to have this beautiful transformation that will bring incredible happiness, incredible delight, your hopes and dreams for love coming true. The happiest cards in the deck are the sun, the nine of cups energy, and we've seen it multiple times. So, you know, change is scary, but change is also a part of life, and that's what Spirit is telling you. So be smart, be cool, be calm, take care of yourself. Pisces, it's been a joy. Thank you so much for joining me.